Uh, yeah, I'm going to work on the old Ford again today. Uh, I'm going to work on the right fender. I'm not doing anything out here, you know. It's uh, raining again today. Well, you know what? One good thing, it's, uh, you know, it's January. And it's, uh, it's rain and not snow. That really uh, throw a wrench in things. So, uh, all right, let's go inside and uh, show you what we're doing on this thing today. All right, in the last video, I think uh, we left you off. I was putting uh, this Dynaglass, this fiberglass Dynaglass on uh, the patches, a little uh, dirt bike put in for me here. And I also put the, a coat on the top here. But he had some, uh, you know, this, this was really rough. It was like deep rivets, or not rivets, I keep calling them rivets. They're te deep spot welds and stuff, you know. And this whole top was all rippled and stuff. You see what, where each one of the spot welds was. That's how deep they were. You know, so this, this is uh, just an extra step, something you really should, I, I really didn't have to do, but uh, we did it. You know, this, this area is susceptible to rust and rot. So. What I'm going to do now is uh, throw a thin coat of putty on there, a final coat, and uh, we'll call that good. So uh, let me do that and then we'll uh, turn this back on. Alright, yeah, we put the top coat of uh, putty on there and uh, sanded it down, and uh, we're, we're happy with that. Smooth. Got rid of all the spot weld marks and stuff, and uh, even here, you know, we. Uh, Put a final coat on there and sanded it down, and uh, we're happy with that. So, so the top half of the fender's done. Uh, now we can go with the side, and uh, that's where the fun begins. It'll become a little interesting, man. All right, all right. You're ready to do the side here, so I'm gonna slop this up with mud, and uh, probably won't have to cheese grate it because it's uh, it's so close to where we want it. Maybe I'll just hit it with an air board to get the, you know, get it down to where it has to be and then do the rest by hand, but uh, we'll do this whole area here, get this patch, and get the, the little hump here, the body line. I'm not going to mess with this, like the other fender. Uh, I wanted, I'd rather do that separately, you know, that way I can concentrate on it. And if I have a little uh, mud left over, I got this prepared so we can uh, put it on there instead of throwing it away, so. Yeah, I, you guys are probably dealing with a lot of reflections here, but uh, you know, hey, it's the nature of the beast, right? All right, let's mix up some mud and throw it on here.
what happened with that. Okay. Alright, I got us a good grab coat down there. I can feel where I, I still have some low spots, but the, you know, the grab coat, you know, you put a little extra pressure on it and, and it sets it into the, you know, the, the grooves you hear that you cut in with the, with the grinding wheel. But uh, anyway, uh, when, you put the, when you put putty on stuff like that, you know, the resin raises to the top. And if you hear real close, I don't know if you can hear it, but my glove is actually sticking. And when you do, when you start sanding, it gums your paper up and stuff. You know, I used to take a, a, an old piece of sandpaper and scuff it all down before I used the good stuff. But uh, here's another trick. Here's your, here's your tip of the day. Just uh, get some lacquer thinner. And uh, some guys use uh, Prepsol. And just uh, wipe the whole thing down. And that'll take the sticky resin off. You see it's going to come up flat before it was kind of shiny. And uh, that way it doesn't gum your stuff up. You know, sandpaper's pretty expensive anymore. I guess it always was. Everything's relative, right? Okay. So there's your tip of the day. You go. No more sticky. Alright. Let me get the airboard ready. I'll be right back. Alright. Yeah, I got this clamped down here. Hope it'll uh, hold it in place. But uh, you're not going to hear anything. I'm going to turn the, the exhaust fan on in there. I won't be saying anything, so. Sit back and uh, enjoy.
All right, yeah, that worked out well. Now that gives us a little bit of a road map uh, to go by here. I'm gonna I'm gonna finesse this up a little bit with a uh, with some hand tools because like here I, I couldn't get the, the machine in there, but uh, you see like right here, right here's a low spot. We're gonna fill that. These aren't high spots. I think this is this is where we want to be. You know, because that's that's uh, pretty nice there. But uh, I have a low spot here, and I, I didn't realize it. But you can see where over here where where the sandpaper was hitting. So this that means this this is where I'm running out of lead here. This is where it levels out. So I'm actually gonna I'm gonna grind this out here down the metal, and then we can fill that in. And uh, over here. I don't know if we need the uh, filler there. Like I said, I have to finesse it and sand that down and see where we're at. And we got a low spot here. And we know we had this low spot. And down here I think we'll be okay because I didn't I didn't sand this. I'm gonna do this with by hand and uh, I should get that out. So I think from from here to about here we'll be okay. So, uh, yeah, we don't have much work here at all. So, uh, I think we're going to go have some dinner, and then we'll come back and uh, play with it a little more. So, uh, we'll see you guys when we get back. All right, we're back. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of real thin coat down here because i got two little low spots. So, down here is a real thin spot. you got this. And right here to blend the top of the body line. This here is actually pretty good. You know, the top of that... Uh, Body line came out nice. So I ground this out here and uh, we'll fill that in. And then uh, maybe I'll put a real, we'll put uh, some blobs, some stuff here. And then uh, we should be pretty close. All right, all right. Yeah, I got the major portion of the fender done here. That's almost half the whole fender. But uh, this whole section here, I did that and uh, I came out nice. I'm happy with that. And uh, even this uh, this thick body line here, you know, I brought the edge out here so I can uh, cut in the body line. So, uh, so these two sections are pretty much done now. I just got to concentrate on uh, this uh, little whale tail here, or whatever that is, and uh, and the front half. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna take a break and uh, maybe we'll uh, catch up with this tomorrow. All right. All right. It's another day here, and uh, <clears throat> Road King's got a little bit of a stuffed nose, so that's why he sounds uh, a little sick. But I feel good. I feel good. All right. What we're going to do today is uh, I'm going to work on his body line here. You know, I was able to put enough putty here to bring it out because it was it was dented here. But what's nice about this body line is it starts out crisp. You know, on the front here, it fades away. It's a little, fades away to nothing here, but, <clears throat> but right here it's real crisp. And it's crisp until it gets about mid fender. And then it starts to fade away, you know. It's, it's, it goes from crisp to, to a dull edge to, to a rounded edge. And then back here it fades away again. You know, and that's, that's the way it is. This is the real fender here. So, uh. We're going to try to get this dead nuts on, but uh, if we were off by a, a sixteenth or an eighth or so, it would be fine because you, you, you round it off and you'd never see it. But uh, So let's, I'll throw these up on a tripod and we'll uh, put a piece of tape on here and, and cut that edge to where we want it. And then we'll do body work on this, uh, this, this bottom half here. Alright, hold on. Alright, I actually marked here with a magic marker uh, where that line is because it's it's easier to feel than it is to see you know because because everything is uh, reflective on bright silver here and then over here I mark where the line is so we'll just uh, we'll connect the dots all right yeah I had to put you guys over there I tried to give you a good vantage point but uh, you know it would have been would have been next to me or beside me but I would be in your way and you would be in my way. So uh, for now, we'll, uh, we just gotta go with this. All right. Let's 
see what we got here. when you get it. Hmm. Better. Okay. I like that, but it's not right. Go with that. And I'm gonna put another another layer of tape on here, right on that same edge. So when I sand, if I just happen to go through one, I got the other as a backup. All right, what I'm gonna do now is uh, take the little grinder here and uh, it's just gonna be, I only have about an eighth of an inch of uh, putty on here. You know, I'm gonna cut that away. That'll give me a, a nice hard edge so when I'm, I'm doing the flat down here, it uh, won't hit that, so. It's gonna get a little noisy because I'm gonna have the vent on, so. Put your hearing protection on. stuff up here. Oh. All right. Sorry about that. I had to move you. You guys weren't in front of me. Well, let me get some glasses here. Sometimes I need to see what I'm doing. water in there but it uh, looks okay sometimes you're better off having less hardener than more hardener because uh, it'll it'll harden faster but it, 
it won't get to the right hardness, you know, it'll, it'll always be rubbery. So you're better off with less hardener than more hardener. But in this case, we hit it right on the mark. start right here. I'm going to go right up to the line because there's actually a, oh, a hollow there. Mistake. I didn't want to go up to the top, I just want to go to here. I want to make this whole bottom flat before I even attempt that body line. You might not be able to see where I'm at now, but... Uh... Oh, oh, oh! Almost lost her, we almost lost her! Situate your back here. There we go. All right. You still here? You guys still with me? It's not pretty, but it'll give us a start. You might not be able to see me over here, but uh, we've got a couple tiny little pinholes. There we go. A couple of imperfections. And if I get them now, it makes it that much easier. Defender here. There we go. There we go. Alright. Alright. Having a tough time here. I'm holding it one hand. We'll get it. up after it starts to hold I got a little bit left here. So let me adjust you. Let me see if I can adjust you guys. Let me try and get the back here. Can't see nothing there, can you? Let me turn you around so I can see you. Alright, I know you guys can't see nothing, but it's just the way it is. I'm gonna deal with it.
take this off the tripod and show you what we're doing. Look, once it starts to light up, throw it out. I'll try to save it. Throw it out. You're only going to make things worse. Now, let me clean this up, and then I'll take you around and show you what was going on. All right. Yeah, here's what you guys are missing. You know, I was just uh, trying to get this edge here. This is when I start. You see how rough it is? That's when I started the setup. You got to stop before uh, that happens. So right now it's uh, breezy. And I, you know, I had a few tiny pinholes, and right over here, and right over here. You know, well I had the extra putty, just makes it that much easier. All right, now's the time. You get a razor blade, and you know you get these uh, big chunks. You get them out of the way. That way you don't have to sand them. You go around. Not only does it save you sandpaper, but it uh, saves you a whole lot of time. Especially over here. You see, I get a big glob there. Just cut that off now. Cut off now while it's uh, soft. Same with here. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys off because uh, it's starting to harden, and I wanna. I want to get all these uh, titties off so I don't have to sand them. Alright, we'll get back to you when, when uh, we're ready to sand it. Alright, yeah we ripped the cheese grater out because uh, I had uh, I had a little too much over here. You know, when, you, when, you, when you're slopping this stuff on, you know, you just got to go with it, you know, and you worry about uh, the consequences later, you know, because you, you're under a, a time constraints here, you know. So. Uh, so I got that pretty smooth. Now I'll, I'll hit this with uh, 36 grit, and uh, we'll get it. We'll get it flat. Sorry about that. I'm going back and forth. I know you guys don't like that, but uh, that's just how it is. All right. So we'll hit this with 36 and find out where our low spots are, and then uh, continue on. Hold on. Hold on. It's going to be a little rough. Alright. Alright. We got you. Hold on. We got you. We got you. Here we go. Alright. Yeah. We got a little low spot here. It's funny. It worked its way out. You know, like over here. Over here is all done by itself. I'm not going to have to do anything here. All the way up to here. I mean, I got a little gouge here I can fill in, but that's... Uh, that's no problem. But from here over, it actually fixed itself. Same with over here, you know. All the way over. Actually, all the way. Yeah, right about here. So, right here is where the dent was. So we got a little low spot here. A little low spot here. Like I say, I'm not, I'm not worrying about this, uh, this body line right now. I want to get a flat. I want to get this perfectly flat. So, uh, I got a little low spot here. A little low spot here. And then right here, and then, then we can deal with that uh, body line. Yeah, it worked out well. The long board. I don't know how long that is. 16 inches maybe. But it came in handy. All right, I'm gonna slide. I'm gonna do that, and uh, you guys can take a break. You really don't have to see that. And then I'll flatten that all out, and then we'll come back and and do the body line. All right. Yeah, even though this film doesn't look like it, it's uh, it's just about finished. This is all done up here. This whole side, this hump, and the groove, and everything, that's all done. And this uh, top here. And this is flat the way I wanted it. Now, what I'm going to do, let me put you in my left hand, we'll show you. I got uh, this, uh, is that squeegee I used on the other fender? You know, that's the, the contour of the, the body line. So, let me, let me put you in my left hand here, and uh, we'll get you down there. All right, if I keep that see a black line that I put on the squeegee there, if I put that right on line, let me see here. You see the way that's the perfect contour? I'll bring that right around all the way here and stay on the flat. Should make that, should make that perfect. So uh, let me try you up on a tree pod there and uh, 
we'll finish this up. Every time I finished up with a, with a batch of putty and I had a little bit left over, I've just been sticking it on this corner here. So this, this corner really just has to be sanded out and uh, that's probably going to be done. So, like I say, this is all we got to do is put the, the body line in there. Hang on, we're going up. Alright, I set you up. I got you sitting a little lower than normal. So, uh, maybe you see it. Maybe you see a little better. Alright. Just smash this stuff around. Should have thinned it up a little, but we're okay. should pull most of this around so we'll be alright. If not then we just add some more, right? See I'm pushing it down, make sure it's uh, sitting in there. Alright, let's go for a ride. Actually pretty good. We're gonna go around again We're happy with that. Looks like we're going to need a little, a little right there, but uh, well, you know what? Maybe I'll do that now. There we go. One more time. It's a lot better. A little sloppy over here, but that's cool. Alright. I'm going to throw the rest of this on this other part of the fender. And then uh, get back to you when we sand that out and see how it looks. Alright. It's tacking up and it's hard to touch, but it's not uh, completely cured yet. So. We're done with the tape. say you don't have to do it this way uh, in a body shop you probably would have done this whole thing at one time and it would have looked like it so All the bodywork is done on this, and I'm happy with it. Came out nice. This is done. This front piece here is done. 
and then the two body lines here are done and then this, uh, this big section here so what I'm going to do now is uh, go mix me up some uh, glazing putty and I'm going to uh, do it in uh, three sections you know because I want to put it on real thin you know because I mean this body work is you know I, if I wanted to I could take this out and, and spray a, a filler primer on it and we fill all these uh, little sand and scratches but uh, I got this down I got this down pretty smooth you know down to about 80 and now I'm gonna uh, like I say I'm gonna put uh, a coat of glazing putty on there and then we'll uh, sand it down 180 and it'll be ready for primer so all right I'll throw you up on you know what like I said I'm gonna do it in three sections I'm gonna do this one section that way I make sure it's real thin and then this section take my time and then this section so uh, I'll throw you up on a tripod and uh, we'll mix up one section for you and uh, you see how that's done and uh, then I'm going to do the rest like I said take my time doing the rest and then we'll uh, we'll shut this video off because it's, it's probably getting pretty long alright alright yeah I'm going to put some of this uh, plastic honey in here thin it out a little bit We go. Don't want it too soupy. You can actually make it soupy enough so it would actually flow out, but uh, we don't want it that soupy. I'm still here. Put the lid on this so nobody knocks it over. Right. Going to use a new uh, applicator when we put it on, but for this. I'm just gonna mix it up with an older one. See how nice it is? Like I said, this is just for the the pinholes and some of the deep scratches. Okay, by the color I can tell it's going to light up pretty fast, so I can't dig around too much here. Alright, got us a new applicator. You know what? Let me bring you over here. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. There we go. How's that? Is that better? Right. Don't get in my way.
like I said, it's supposed to, they're going to be so thin, it's going to be transparent. In the old days we used to use that nitro stand and wet sand it. Just still there. It makes more than I wanted to. It's okay, I'll just keep putting it on until it uh, hardens up. I think it's hardening up now. Moves over here. I didn't plan on doing this, but I'm gonna keep going until it starts to harden. I think we're losing it. We're losing it. Either I mixed too much or I went too slow. Alright, no biggie. No biggie. Alright. I'm gonna take his down. Hold on, I'm gonna take his down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. Yeah, that's, uh, it's nice and thin. That's nice and smooth. So it'll be easy to uh, easy to sand out. I have little little clumps here and stuff like that, but uh, that's no problem. I'll just I'll get them out of the way with a razor blade while it's uh, still soft. All right, so uh, I'm gonna uh, finish this up, sand it up, and have it get get it all ready for uh, primer because uh, today it's like uh, 20 degrees out, but. Uh, uh, this this Saturday, two days or no, yeah, two days. It's gonna be uh, 70 degrees, so uh, we'll be able we'll get this ready and we'll paint it up. So uh, I probably won't show you guys that. So next time I see you guys, maybe we'll, maybe we'll work on a hood or something. All right, all right. Thanks for hanging in there with me. We'll see you in the next one.